I am going to demonstrate how to take some points out of a large point cloud using Autodesk Recap Studio and I am going to make a Revit family from those points. Here's our big point cloud and I want to look at the inner door in this foyer here because I want to make a Revit door out of it. And there you can pretty much see it. How would I go and do that? First I'll get to the whole view and I like to turn off perspective. Then I could do something like just take a window like that, hit clip outside and it turns off all the points except those that were selected. And I keep doing that until I have just the points I want to export. Select a window, clip, clip outside. If I make a mistake I can undo to do clip inside there, over here, clip inside, and look at what I have. Still a little bit more than what I want. One thing this door is going to be symmetrical, so to reduce the number of points I have to work with, I will just choose whichever side has the better scan. Looks like the left side in this case. So I might do something like this, clip outside, clip inside, etc. until I have the minimum no number of points I'm going to need to trace over in Revit. and something like that. I go here to export. I'm going to export to PTS file and let it make a PTS file. A PTS file consists of, is in text and it has the data of XYZ intensity and RGB, the RGB being, being red, green, and blue for the color. I will pause the recording and let that export from Recap. I am now in AutoCAD and I'm going to use some software that I wrote for Landtech and I call it PTSN because I have to go through AutoCAD I can't go directly into Revit Family Editor. So I'm using this proprietary software that takes the points in the PTS file and and brings them into AutoCAD as AutoCAD points. That can then be imported into Revit to trace. This software is telling me it's approximately a bit over 1 million points. Go ahead and import it. And you can see it starts to import. I'll pause the video until it's all come in. It has come into AutoCAD and we can look at it and we could do some further editing in here if we want. We can delete some of the points, etc. Then I will bring it into Revit. And I'll save this drawing. And then bring it into Revit Family Editor. I am now in Revit and I want to model my door. I start with the closest family that I have to the double doors 
and there it is the out of the box double door family in Revit go to a 3d view I'll change the scale so I can see a little better and I will do a save as and I have this saved as a new name. Now I would like to import points directly but as you see there's no facility for importing point clouds into the Revit family editor. That's why we have to import CAD if we want to see points because they're AutoCAD points now. Here it is and I go center to center and the import units are going to be meters and here it goes. Comes in pretty quickly. Not too bad. Almost the right size too. So go to floor plan. I can take this and rotate it and move it as I need to. You can take it, nudge it with the keyboard, and do all of your Revit things that you need to do to make a family. Solid sweeps, voids. Of course, that's another lecture, how to make Revit families. But this lets you have something to trace while you're doing your family. When it's done, it should look something like this. I will close that. And this is what it looked like after a good amount of modeling. And how else would you get it so accurate except tracing over a point cloud? That was a demonstration of taking a subset of point clouds out of Recap, exporting them to a PTS file, bringing them from PTS into AutoCAD with custom software, bringing that AutoCAD drawing into the Revit family editor and tracing it.